Hey guys, it's Candace, and in today's quick book tips and tricks, I want to talk to you about printing blank checks. So often people have been asking me recently, I just want to print a blank check as proof of what I've done. And I want to talk to you about a few different options. So one is you can go into your check register over here, click on it, choose your bank account that you want to go to, and it depends if it's an actual check with a check number. You can just double click, go up to print and click print check. And you would just put in the same check number again that you originally used and click OK. And that will allow you to print the check basically if you want just proof that you did it and you want it for your file. Now, if this is left blank and you go to print it, it's well, hey, yes, it's not going to let you print it without a check number. If you just try to do zero, no check number, won't work. So you have to have a check number. If you don't have a check number, you can use a one, two, or three, something like that. Now, if what you want is a bill payment confirmation, so I'm not sure, I just want to clarify, I want to give you guys a couple options. If you go under file, you go down to print forms, you can go to checks here as well. But the checks, if you go here, have to be available to be printed. If you've already printed them and you just want proof for, for your records, you'll need to go into the check register. If you go down here to file print forms and you click bill payment stubs, this is going to give you, you pick your time frame. So this is my sample file I use for training purposes. So we'll go back. I don't do a lot of bill payments, but you'll notice you, it'll give you everything and you can choose by selecting the check mark you know, which ones do you want? Then you can preview them and it will give you anything you've paid through a bill pay bills feature. This is a bill payment stub. So you've used, you entered a bill, this is your bill, and then it's letting you know which check you use to pay that particular bill. So that's another option for you, depending on what you're looking for, whether it's an actual check, if it's more like an ATM or something you've entered, but you want proof, you're going to have to enter some type of number for it to work. Just want to give you guys kind of a how to, because some people are really getting frustrated. The biggest thing is, is if you're trying to print something without a check number, it's going to error. Just put a check number in, then delete that check, go back into the register and delete that check number if you really need it to be printed. All right. Have an amazing day. Hope you guys are enjoying my tips and tricks. If you want to get these in your inbox, feel free to go up above or down below. And I send them out on Wednesdays. If you're looking for QuickBooks online or desktop version, feel free to check out confidencewithquickbooks.com. It is my online course. If you just need more of the how to start from scratch, you're brand new, and you really are tired of being frustrated with QuickBooks and you enjoy the way I train. Or if you need to work with somebody one-on-one, -on -one, you just want somebody to help you fix a specific thing, feel free to check out my private sessions. I'll put a link up above and down below. Have an amazing day. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.